His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, where they reviewed the deep rooted fraternal relations and the means to further enhance cooperation, joint action, and coordination in all domains, and that enhance common interests. The Majesties also discussed a number of regional and international issues and developments, particularly the situation in the Middle East and the humanitarian crisis in the Gaza Strip. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 3 of 2024. The law ratified the agreement between Bahrain and the GCC on the headquarters of the Technical Telecommunications Office following the approval of the Shura and Representatives Councils. Article 1, the agreement was ratified between Bahrain and the GCC regarding the Technical Telecommunications Office headquarters in Bahrain, signed in, Ma in Manama in November 19, 2023, and attached to this law. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 23 of 2024 on appointments at the National Communication Center NCC based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1 The following shall be appointed at the NCC. Islam Ahmed Gariballah Abdul Jabbar, Director General of the Global Communication Office. Sahayar Ibrahim Isa Al Shayji, Deputy CEO of Joint Communication Services, and Dr. Muhammad Ali Hamid Shaban, Deputy CEO of Communication on Operations. His Majesty also issued a decree 24 of 2024 renewing the appointment of the Deputy Governor of the Capital Governorate based on the proposal of the Minister of Interior and after the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1, the appointment of Hassan Abdullah Al Madani as Deputy Governor of the Capital Governorate is renewed for a period of four years. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 25 of 2024, appointing an Under Secretary and two Assistant Under Secretaries at the Ministry of Information based on the proposal of the Minister of Information and following the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1 Yusuf Mohammed al bin Khalil, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Information. Article 2 Yunus Salman Hassan al Ghais, Assistant Under Secretary for Radio and Television Affairs at the Ministry. And Abdul Rahman Khalid Ahmed al Midfa, Assistant Under Secretary for News and Regulatory Affairs at the Ministry. His Majesty also issued Decree 26 of 2024, appointing an Assistant Under Secretary at the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, based on the proposal of the Minister of Municipalities and Affairs and following the approval of the Cabinet. Sadiq Ja'far al Sheikh Mansour al Sitri, Under Secretary for Resources and Information at the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture. His Majesty also issued Decree 27 of 2024 appointing a Director General at the Civil Service Bureau based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. Mohammed Salman Mohsen Al Aradi, Director General for Joint Human Resources at the Civil Service Bureau with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa hosted Ramadan Majlis leaders at an iftar banquet at Rifa' Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's wide-ranging achievements since the launch of the kingdoms and national development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted that the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne is an opportunity to recognize the many successes and achievements accomplished thus far. He exchanged greetings with the Majlis leaders on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan, expressing his best wishes for continued progress and prosperity for the Kingdom and its people under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted the establishment of an economic and investment model in Bahrain that prioritizes citizens, adding that the Kingdom remains committed to advancing its comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the Kingdom's achievements attained across various sectors and are a result of Team Bahrain's unwavering dedication, including that of the Executive Authority, the Legislative Authority, the private sector and the civil societies. 
He affirmed the kingdom's faith in its skilled and capable national workforce, which continues to compete a high-quality projects year after year. His Royal Highness noted that the holy month of Ramadan represents an opportunity to consolidate the values of tolerance, compassion, and community, all of which are noble values taught by the Islamic faith. He underscored the importance of Ramadan Majlis in strengthening national cohesion among different sects of society, expressing pride in the noble values, morals, and mutual respect that characterize the people of Bahrain, which is the basis for preserving the kingdom's strong societal fabric. His Royal Highness emphasized that safeguarding the kingdom is a priority and noted that Bahrain is blessed with a robust security and safety which must continue to be maintained. He noted that peace and tolerance represent important pillars for development, emphasizing the kingdom's commitment to implementing developmental programs and legislation to benefit citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to provide the best government services in accordance with the highest standards of quality and efficiency, and promoting a culture of creativity and innovation in developing these services to achieve the aspirations of Bahrain citizens and residents. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of continuing to strengthen partnership with the private sector to further enhance its role as an active partner in the Kingdom's development. In this regard, he expressed gratitude to the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, and the commercial sector for ensuring the stability of prices and abundance of consumer goods during the holy month of Ramadan, which is a direct result of the cooperation between the members of Team Bahrain. His Royal Highness highlighted the many achievements of the Economic Recovery Plan and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, which reflects the success of the people of Bahrain and noted that evaluating the outcomes of the achievements continue to be a priority. He expressed his anticipation and optimism for Bahrain Economic Vision 2050, whose formulation His Royal Highness has directed to begin to build a brighter future for the Kingdom and continue its ongoing development efforts under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness underscored Bahrain's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and its unwavering commitment to reaching a peaceful, lasting and fair solution in support of Palestinians' legitimate right to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. The attendees expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness for his unwavering dedication to all members of society and for strengthening the social fabric of Bahrain, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund Temkin, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several senior officials were also in attendance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also received the newly appointed Ambassador of Brazil to Bahrain, Andriano Silvia Pucci, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of Bahraini-Brazilian relations and multi-sector collaboration, noting the Kingdom's commitment to furthering cooperation to achieve mutual aspirations. His Royal Highness welcomed the Brazilian ambassador to the kingdom and wished him success in performing his diplomatic duties. His Royal Highness noted the mutual commitment of both countries to build on relations and further collaboration across all sectors. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. 
The ambassador expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering bilateral relations and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Chairman of the Association of Engineering Officer Bahrain, AEOB Engineer Amazan Ahmed Al Umran, along with members of the Association's Board of Directors at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's skilled workforce who, as part of Team Bahrain, continue to play a pivotal role in supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness congratulated the AEOB following the 10th anniversary of its establishment and wished the association success in its future endeavors. He recognized the association's role in cooperation with government agencies and supporting initiatives that regulate and organize the engineering profession in light of the advancement witnessed across various sectors in Bahrain. His Royal Highness underscored the importance to further follow up skills of the kingdom's workforce by providing educational and vocational training opportunities. He noted Bahraini engineers' advancement and efforts over the years that have had an impact on the kingdom's overall development. For his part, engineer Mazin expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, noting his unwavering support to Team Bahrain, which has provided an incentive to meet the Kingdom's developmental goals. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 18 of 2024, appointing directors at the National Communication Center NCC based on a proposal by the Chief Executive Officer of the NCC. Article 1 stipulates that the following shall be appointed at the NCC. Zainab Abdelaziz Jassim Al Nashid as Director of the Media Office. Ali Ahmed Ali Joder as Director of the Media Analysis and Follow-up. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 19 of 2024 appointing a Director at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture based on a proposal by the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture. Article 1 stipulates that Abbas Abdullah Hassan Al Haiki shall be appointed as Director of the Local Animal Protection at the Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister issued Edict 20 of 2024, appointing two directors at the Civil Service Bureau, CSB, based on a proposal by the President of CSB. Article 1 stipulates that the following shall be appointed at the Civil Service Bureau. Haytham Ali Khalil Nas as Director of Employee Performance and Relations. Hamad Muhammad Abdurrahman Al Mullah as Director of Shared Human Resources Services Coordination. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 21 of 2024, granting the National Institute for Human Rights NIHR observer status in a number of national committees based on the request of NIHR and following the approval of the Cabinet. Article 1 stipulates that the NIHR shall be granted observer status in the following national committees. The National Commission for Childhood, the High Committee for the Care of People with Disabilities, the National Committee for Combating Trafficking in Persons, and the National Committee for the Elderly. Article 2 stipulates that the heads of national committees referred to in Article 1 of this edict shall invite the NIHR to attend their regular meetings. The institution will not have a counted vote in their deliberations. The NIHR shall determine who will represent it at the meetings of the national committees mentioned in Article 1 of this edict. The Representatives' Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its speaker, Ahmed Lamsellam. The Council reviewed the message received from the government on a draft law regarding the strategic inventory of goods to refer to it to the Public Facilities and Environment Committee and the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee. The Council also discussed a report on a draft law amending a number of provisions of the penalties of the uh, penalties law and approved it to return to the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security for further study. 
the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa witnessed the conclusion of the sixth Ministry of Interior Quran competition. The minister affirmed that organizing this annual competition is in line with the approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his efforts to serving Islam and the Holy Quran. He highlighted the achievements made in the service of the Holy Quran during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and the annual hosting of the Bahrain Grand Quran competition, which has contributed to enhancing Bahrain's position in the Islamic world. He also praised the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his efforts in promoting the services of the Holy Quran and spreading its noble teachings. He pointed out that concluding the Quran competition this year during the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan carries spiritual meetings and noble religious values. The minister hailed the wide participation and the high level demonstrated by the participants in the competition, expressing his appreciation for the efforts of the General Directorate of Guards in preparation and organization. This year's competition witnessed a significant turnout of the ministry's personnel, with more than 210 participants in the various categories. The supervisor of the competition, Colonel Faisal Muhsin Al Arjani, praised the instructions of the Minister of Interior to encourage and enhance human resources to promote knowledge and expertise in various fields. He expressed his gratitude to the General Security Chief, the Judging and Organizing Committee, and the participants in the competition. The Minister of Interior then honored the top winners in each category of the competition, as well as the children of fallen servicemen and the injured participants. He also honored the number, the members of the judging and organizing committee and the most participating departments, wishing everyone success in serving the nation. Coinciding with the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning continued handing over housing unit keys to beneficiaries as part of the first phase of the East Sitra Town project. <laughs> 